untap your full potential with the untapped deck tracker. Both the in-game overlay and the personal stats provide a lot of value. Download it for free today using the link below and you'll be supporting the channel at the same time. Alright, time for our first Kaldheim draft. Pack one, pick one, or rares, eh, not that exciting. Rise of the Dreadmarn, playable but not an exciting first pick. Do have some pretty good uncommons though. Giant's Amulet I like quite a bit. Make a 4-5 Hexproof essentially. Uh, Agar, definitely worth building around. Not sure if I would take it over Amulet, which is only a single color. And then Svela is also a very fun build around. And then any standout commons. I suppose Iron Verdict might be the better one here. But none of these other commons are too exciting. Disdainful Stroke playable. Berserker's okay. And we've got the Honey Mammoth a reprint essentially with Lindworm. I think I'm leaning Amulet over Agar. Just because it keeps us a little bit more open. But I wouldn't fault anyone for wanting to try out Agar or even Zvella. Alright, second pack. A rare is missing. I've got a few options. Uh, Cardur, quite powerful. Doesn't necessarily go too well with our first pick. We have some okay green cards here with Sculptor of Winter, and if we end up blue-green, we do kind of want to end up with a couple snow synergies potentially. Could take Story Seeker, blue-white, although blue-white typically has a bit of foretell synergy, which we wouldn't really have here. I kind of like the Sculptor. Could also make a case for taking one of the black cards or even the ice tunnel here. But Sculptor sets us up for blue-green snow. It's nice and early, so hopefully we can pick up some snow lands. Maybe like a late ice tunnel. Let's give it a shot. Ooh. Well, there's some nice blue-green snow cards here. Mirror Lake just gives us a nice mana sink in the late game. And it's very similar to the snow creature here. The Changeling, which can copy one of our creatures with two plus one plus one counters. I'm not sure which one of those I prefer. Mirror Lake is sadly not a snow land, but it is kind of free real estate basically, as it gives our lands an extra late game ability. So it might actually be the pick over Moritz, and then there's even a chance we get it late. Alright, I feel pretty good about picking up an Avalanche Caller here. Fourth pick means the Snow Archetype's relatively open. Another Sculptor. Pilfering Hawk could be okay in the Snow deck. Glimpse would have been great had we taken Agar maybe, although it's still good with Giant's Amulet. There's some other okay cards. Provoke the Trolls, Removal. Nothing else too exciting. Let's take the caller. Alright, there's a snow land, but it's red-white, which is not really where we want to be. So, probably taking another Sculptor of Winter. There's also blue rune, which could be pretty good. Although if we want to commit a little bit more to the Snow Archetype. I think Sculptor, probably over Pilfering Hawk, is the way to go. And then we'll have to prioritize Snowlands in the future. Alright, this pack doesn't have much in blue-green, that is. Squash pretty late. Sign that maybe Red Giants is open. Longboat could be fine. Although not incredibly synergistic. So we could take an off-color Snowland here with the planes. It's not really where we want to be. Although we could potentially splash some white snow cards. Or just some white removal in general off a couple planes. Yeah, probably still worth it here since we're not passing much. Unless we want to pivot into red with squash. Alright, 
definitely taking the blue-green snow land here. Glade Walker would be okay too, but can't pass this up. So we've got three Snow Matters cards, two Snow Lands, a nice utility land here with a Mirror Lake and a Giant's Amulet. And now we get this pack. Could take the Troll. There's another Snow Payoff, although this one needs us to have quite a bit of Snow Mana for it to function. Although the Payoff is potentially quite high. The Parter Realm, Fine Bound Spell, Seeker can help us fix our mana. And also finds our Snow Lands with Boast. And then Sword, pretty expensive. Uh, might take the Seeker over Troll here and over the part, although this one's close. It's mostly because Seeker can help us find Snow Lands as well. This was our opening pack. Guess I'll take a Disdainful Stroke over Lindworm, although Lindworm could be okay with Double Sculptor to ramp into it. Yeah, maybe I should take the Lindworm. And an Elven Bow seems okay. Outrider versus Strategic Planning. Probably not going to play either. The Mists wield. Alright, so... Didn't get a ton of cards we wanted in the last couple packs, but... Yeah, still doing okay. And what did we open? Righteous Valkyrie is our rare. Reasonable card, although I don't have a ton of synergy with it. Probably not worth splashing here. Uh, what do we like? Behold the Multiverse. Good two for one. Don't have the best Arcanist deck. Finn's always fine. And then Ice High Troll, Vandal, all these cards are decent. Probably leaning Behold over Finn. Since we've got a couple two drops, we could use a bit of card draw. Alright, next up we're looking at Reflections, an interesting rare. Doesn't seem particularly great in our deck. We do have the Glade Warden, which seems great. Just a nice mana sink. So that's probably what I'm going to take. Glittering Frost could also help us make more snow mana, so that's a card I'm hoping to wheel. And then this Daneful Stroke could also be fine. We'll take the Warden here. What do we have here? Nice red rare with a Berserker. Another Arcanist. The Parter Realm could be a fine bounce spell. The first copy of Bind the Monster is actually not too bad. So probably take that over the bounce spell. Alright, Rune of Flight seems nice. I think I'm taking first rune over second bind. Although, I guess there's also snow covered islands, never mind. Probably gonna take island here. Yeah. So we've got three snow lands so far. And uh, Horizon Seeker can potentially find a s snow land as well. Don't think the Three Seasons is all that amazing here. What do we think of Blessing of Frosts? Don't have that many giant creatures. I might take the Sinkhole, just a tapped. I mean, this one's pretty bad. It's tapped and off-color. Could take a Yeti. None of these are particularly exciting. Or I can take the Blessing of Frost anyway and then hope to get more snow lands. 
Uh, let's get Yeti. Could be a fine finisher. Uh, change my mind. Let's try the Blessing. Svela. I would be on the Splash. Probably want to stick to blue-green. So we'll take a stroke over planning. Alright, so need more snow lanes. Haven't seen too many. At least not in our colors. Mm. None of these are particularly playable. This is double black to sacrifice, which is going to be tough. Not our mists. Snakeskin veil could also be fine. Yeah, actually, let's take the veil. So this is sort of how the curve looks like. All right, we wield Seeker. Um, I don't mind a Masked Vandal either, or a Rune of Might. But Seeker fits the curve nicely, helps us find snow lanes, or basics at least. Probably not going to need a second Disdainful Stroke, but sure. Yeah, it doesn't seem like Arcanist is going to be great here. Well, maybe it's still worth speculating. I don't think we're planning to splash white. We're just going to have a couple off-color snow lands. All right, probably looking at Augury Raven. Don't really want Mountain. Battle on the Splash seems questionable. All right, I'll take a Fjord over a rare that's not great. Another Bind. Seem to be opening a lot of Arcanists. Take another Amulet. So our late game has a lot of these equipments with Elven Bow double Amulet. Probably not going to play Outrider. Or Arcanist. So Finn's decent. Glimpse is actually nice too, because we have those two amulets to give us a giant. So it's potentially a two for one. Could take this Glittering Frost to give us a bit more snow mana. Which would be a welcome addition. So we might have to take Frosts. Yeah, let's go with uh, Snow Enchantment. Definitely a lot of options here. Finn, the 1 3 Death Touch. Also serviceable. So, Sculptor untapping, a land enchanted by. Frost is quite nice. Well, there's another Finn, but there's also Behold and Ice Tunnel. Kind of liking the Behold here, to be honest. We don't have that much card advantage. Few ways of generating mana. Yeah. Have 
Haven't picked up a Departor Realm yet, so could do that now. Thought Thief doesn't seem too synergistic in our deck. And don't really intend to splash Fall of the Imposter, although we do have a Plains and I suppose Glittering Frost can also fix. But that's about it. I'll just take the Bounce Spell. Doesn't seem like a great Frost Augur deck. Just don't have enough snow permanence for it. So it's between Yeti and Swamp. Yeah, I guess we'll take the Yeti now. It's a pretty late Glade Warden. Another Troll, although Double Snow is going to be rough in this deck. And a Vandal, always decent. Well, at least our late game is going to be okay. Another Seeker. Nothing here. So, we try to take Snow Lance relatively highly, but even so, we end up with only a handful. Might play Finn. So let's take a look here. These are the snow lands. Triple Seeker might be able to cut one of them. I uh, don't think Blessing of Frosts quite got there. So we'll cut it. These are essentially 5 drops. This is essentially a 3 drop. And then we've got a bit of interaction here. Yeti gives us an unblockable threat alongside our flyer. Seems okay. This is 39. Could bring back Seeker. Could play two Disdainful Stroke. Main deck of Broken Wings. Yeah, I think we'll play a Seeker. Pretty evenly split between blue and green. 7 8 green versus 7 8 blue. But we do need more green in the early game. So I think I'll go plus one forest here. Get the nice Kaldheim basic lands. Looks good. Wanna hold this until we can make the elf token. Could play Finn, could foretell here. Guess we'll foretell. Opponent with two snow lines, that's impressive. Mm. 
Yeah, this card seems great. So now I can't even attack and search a land with boast. Do we want to keep a raven? Probably. So now we really want to keep up Veil. Instead of just running out raven, which can potentially die to the priest. I guess we could run out one of the Glade Wardens as bait. Well, this card's going to be hard to beat. At least they lost the snow permanent in the process. Alright, so how do we deal with Quakebringer? Could attack, boost, get a snow land. If they block, we veil. And then can still play Frost afterwards. Opponent on four color good stuff. Can play Seeker plus Elven Bow with a token. Shields down on Veil. Can attack and boast to get a land, although we're kind of getting run over. That wasn't too bad. Although we are the ones that need to pressure the opponents since they can just drain us with a Quakebringer. 
Can play Amulet, keep up, Veil. Can start playing some evasive creatures. Alrighty then. On the play. Fine hand. Could have used her Miss of Legera as kind of a combat trick by playing land first. Also, I think I'm okay trading off there since that also puts a creature in graveyard for Warden. So we could bounce Titan, we could bind it. Uh, play Glade Warden. It is gonna cost a little bit of life here. But it might be worth it. Finn can attack. Ooh, invader. Decent target for the parts of the realm.
can guess they still had another giant. Some life gain could be nice. Can Mists Pretender block with Finn trade or take four down to one? Cinder Heart Giant's kind of a problem. Or I can just eat a Ravager, shrink down Pretender and block it and not lose anything. Seems better. So we could behold if we hit a land, we can still play Lindworm. If we miss, it's kind of bad, and we also don't necessarily want to draw extra lands. So, Giant is going to get something. It's going to be a 2 for 1. They've got more Giants in hand. Yeah, this is rough. Don't have any great solutions here. Block like this, hope it kills Blade Warden, I guess. Or I can block with Lintworm, so we take fewer, or I guess double block, make them choose. So, Caller could be pretty good on defense.
So I have three snow lands. I can animate two of them. Still have fail up. Can I afford to play frosts? Enchant a land. Animate. Animate. Yeah, I guess it should work. Avalanche Caller holding the fort. I think we're still sending. Question is whether we play Raven here. If I play Raven, I can still animate 1 for 4. That might be enough. I really want to get the extra evasive creature out there. Could of course foretell, but let's be a bit aggressive. Can have two lines on defense at least. I guess we'll have to do it like this.
All right. Might as well attack since we're not blocking. Skull Raid. That's a lot of removal. So I guess we play this and equip first, in case they have more instant speed removal, because I don't want this getting out of hand. And if they kill it, then we'll stay back with the giants, now we can attack. I think I'm okay with the trade here.
So we can only move one without killing the thing. Could have also activated Glade Warden there. Didn't seem super necessary. Hmm, this one's a little sketchy. No blue mana. No snow lands. Alright, at least we can foretell. Unsure what to put on the bottom. So if they play like a raven here, we can still attack into it with a seeker, play mists. Amulet's nice. Can attack seeker, boast, trade for guardian. We can use the mists if we want to. I think I want to use mists in combination with a giant. If they try and double block, maybe. And then for now, I think attack boosts and then foretell. Augur hit a snow-covered forest. Uh-oh. There goes my amulets.
Uh oh. That's a problem. That was a good draw. Color also gives haste, so there's no issue with playing a land that's summoning sick. Yeah, Avalanche Caller definitely carried us here. Alright, that's gonna do it for today's gameplay. Wanna thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed, and as always, have a nice day. I also wanna thank all my patrons for being part of the channel, and you can become a patron yourself today and decide the topic of future videos over at patreon.com forward slash legendvd. 